I guess the back of a car is good as any place to do a recording. Ah, don't fit. Anyways, here I am, and there you are. Today I want to talk a little bit about the hiring process and how it's evolved over the last century, no? Last decade? Eh, maybe. How many of you out there remember going to an interview and they take out the little blue book and they ask you the generic questions that everyone needs to answer? And the fun part is, besides that loud car, the fun part is they're not even taking notes. So how are they going to remember what they told or you told them in to interview? I just sounded like a waskly wabbit. How are they going to remember what you told them in the interview? Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting nowadays. What I've tended to do is I hire for character. You've heard that before. Yeah, I didn't make that up. And skill like a train. Character is it's so rare nowadays. Everyone is just a generic version of themselves. Copycat, cookie cutter. I'm looking for someone who will create excitement in the industry. Who will be able to serve the customer. And I'm talking about retail here. And will be kind, sincere, open for feedback. I can go on through the recipe to make a perfect hire, Kurt. Uh, but there's no exact recipe. For me, it's about having a conversation. I like to go out, have a conversation, sit down for coffee, see the eye contact, how they talk, mannerisms, if they feel secure themselves. I like to know a little bit about their experience and have a conversation about that. If they're able to answer some of my questions, uh, scenarios, and they're not your typical scenarios either. It's not your cookie cutter type of interview. It's a get to know you, how you doing. Yeah, we made a connection. Good. I want you on my team because you know what? Sometimes we hire too fast and the person that you hire does not fit into the culture of your team and that could destroy everything you've built up. Uh -uh. Alrighty then. The other thing, if you're going to be hiring somebody, you need to let them know how long this process will take. If they're not going to be hired, let them know. Give them a call. I hate emails. It's so, it's so informal. They spend time with you. Give them a call. If you tell them by email, then you have email. I understand certain circumstances do dictate that because of time. But I like being called. But let them know. Don't let them guess about it. I remember applying for companies way back when they would just send me a couple of movie tickets saying thank you for your time here or a gift certificate to a coffee shop for the interview which was phenomenal they didn't have to do that but that made me a loyal customer and please 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 enough with these questions about how did you like your elementary school I don't even know what I had for supper last night I actually got asked that question for a senior position in a company, not a store manager, not a district, a little higher up. What did you like about your elementary school? And this was from a 25 year old, nothing wrong with 25 year old kids, but this was freshly out of school and asked me that question. At the end of the day, guys, retail interviews need to be more behavior based instead of these questions that came out of a 19th century book that you just dusted off. If you need to have the same question for every candidate, refresh them. But please add in a section for how they communicated with you, your, their communication style, what type of connection you made, and take notes. Make eye contact. Thank them for their time. If you have a business card, leave, that, leave it with them. Get back to them. What else could I say? Except... How was your elementary school? How was your elementary school? Have a phenomenal day.